so it's seven in the morning i just woke up um it's very cold and now i will try to make my way to the beach to catch some waves because uh the waves are supposed to be in the morning today Welcome back to the Three Miles MC. Ooh, I'm so cold from the night. It was such a cold night. I, I woke up early today because the surfcast said that the waves would be the, the best chance I would have in the morning. Uh, it says uh, not bad great conditions, but I'm very confident I can still get some stuff done because really often the app says it's not that good and you still like have a decent time. So yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm still so cold from waking up today in the morning. I hope that the water feels a bit better at least. And there it is, the Plage La Palue, our first little spot. So here I was, completely frozen through from the night. The surf forecast predicted one meter waves and said that the conditions are really poor, but I was still determined to do this because I saw a chance in catching a wave. waves but definitely good fun experiencing those amazing moments surfing waves and riding my motorcycle i felt like it was giving me the ability to let which does not matter truly slide So probably the best thing about this whole motorcycle surf trip concept is that you always find parking. And now we are here with Bodhi, my Interceptor 650 on the first gravel road with some potholes and so far it's doing quite good. So we're now going to head back to the camping place and take the motorcycle surf mount off of Bodhi so that we can explore the area, the Presque de Croissant a little bit. Because this part of Brittany has some very gorgeous sights I saw online, so let's go. Earlier today in the morning it was so fucking cold. Um, it was close to 7 degrees and now it's so warm again that I don't have to wear my turtleneck. <laughs> also, the surf was good, I had a good time, but sadly the conditions are right now not that great. But I, I went really early in the morning to make the best of it. I, I hope that we still get some better waves. I, I have to say I definitely did uh, the best I could with it. And that's actually, I think, kind of a cool message for anyone who does motorcycle trips or wants to do a surf trip or both. Maybe I can inspire some of you for that too. 
you got to work with what you have. If the waves are not that great, still go inside and see what you can do. So let's go back to the camping ground and get the surfboard mount off and explore the Presque et des Croissants. But first we have to get some food because I'm so hungry from surfing. I have ate two croissants today in the morning and some chocolate and that's not exactly the nutrition that you want to get. I've just taken off the suitcases and the surfboard and now me and the interceptor can finally move again freely. It's just such a nice feeling to have the bike just on its own all raw. So nice. Definitely worth it. And we are on our way to the Ile de Verge. The Ile de Verge even though it says Ile is a bay because Ile means island normally and we're going to check it out because we are on the search for adventure. Oh, those road is apparently blocked. We need to turn around. I think we need to take a little bit of a shortcut because the other road is just one way. Uh, so let's turn to this one and see what Bodhi has got off road. So, so far I have to say my Interceptor 650 does quite fine here on roads like this. Um, whoops, that's too deep and I instantly realized the big drawback of the Interceptor. Uh, the ABS is not off switchable uh, and I have not really thought about this prior to this trip because I have never owned a motorcycle that had ABS. So I didn't know that if it's not off switchable it could lead to some issues. But in the future I will definitely do that. There's some very deep ruts here and this is getting a bit thin over there, so I will switch over to the middle. Ooh, sand. And I think we successfully managed our shortcut. This last one is just a bit difficult. Can we do that one? We need to try again. Yes, we can. <laughs> so let's continue our way to the Ile de Verge. get to this bay, there's a surprising amount of gravel roads me and Bodhi here need to encounter. We're not supposed to be here, as you can also see on that sign. I can hear some people talking over there that are apparently doing some kind of forest work. So let's see that they that those people don't see us. Well, as you can see, this is going steep. Well, down there is some boat, and I think over there is an overhanging cliff. Let's maybe not take that route. I didn't find another way, so we will now take the very steep one. And there's a guy walking his dog. The guy with the dog looks serious. Because who dresses like this who doesn't obey rules? And it's also a quick dog. And he will sooner or later turn around and see me if the dog doesn't follow. Okay. Let's go down now.
so we almost made it down. Look how clear the water is. Oh no, my watch just broke. Shit. Wow. So, as you can see, this is the bay and you're only able to access it with a kayak tour, like over there, or with one of those boats that then you can go down there. There's also a way down there to climb, but I don't feel confident enough and if I get into trouble not making this, someone needs to pick me up from down there with a boat and then they will ask how I got there in the first place. So we are now back on the bike. I, I received a little note on my motorcycle that is, I think, supposed to look like a ticket, but I don't really think it's a ticket because the paper doesn't feel government-like. It more feels like printer at home-like. It says something that I'm not supposed to park there, yada, 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 and that they will send me mail. I don't believe that I will receive mail from that one. Um, also, I, I looked up how much the, the kayak tours cost. They cost 30 bucks on TripAdvisor. And I mean, that's of course a very cool idea and it's really probably nice to visit them on kayaks. Sadly, this stuff is only accessible for the kayaks. I, I don't know really if they blocked it because it's supposed to be only accessible by the kayaks or if there's another reason, because it seemed hiking-wise completely normal and fine. It leaves me a little bit conflicted in my head because it's a little bit like if you would block a surf beach or something and then offer a surf course. But, you know, the, the island also needs to live off the tourism and I totally get that. But it was still nice that we were able to see it. I, I think that's more of a philosophical question if you should completely block stuff like this if there are tours offered there. Actually, on a completely different note, I last night saw something quite weird. Um, I saw lights or planes or something in the sky but they were in a really weird formation. It looked like a train in the sky, but the distance between the light was different than it, it was not regular. And for a flight maneuver of airplanes, it just does did not absolutely make sense. It, it basically looked like tailgating in the sky. I don't know what that was about. It, it looked really odd. And I've also not seen that the first time. I've seen that, I think I've seen that the first time about 400 kilometers from here. The last night I slept in a tent and I was not able to film it, but this time I was. Maybe one of you who's more into airplanes and stuff knows what this is, because this, I've never seen something like this before. It just looks weird. Whatever those objects are in the sky, um, they moved quite quickly, uh, way quicker than a plane in the sky or something. Also, as you can see in the footage, all of a sudden it was closer and I would now guess that those objects do not perfectly circle uh, the earth like a satellite would it's kind of like a oval shape if anyone knows what this is please let me know so let's get on our way because there's still one place that i want to show you guys <laughs> The Bay of Lost March. This is the place I still want to show you. It's so incredibly quiet and lonely here. It's a place where you can truly be alone. The waves that are slowly flowing into the bay look absolutely majestic. And occasionally you can catch a really good swell here. With just very few people in the lineup and enjoying this basically on your own. It's one of the most beautiful places that I know. And to be honest, it's my favorite place on earth. If you like what I do here on YouTube, please leave a like and a comment and I have the link to my other socials and my Patreon down in the description. See you soon.